welcome to the John J. Fahey Show. Always a pleasure to have you. Our very first show in the year 2009. And a very special welcome to all of you in Boston and wherever else you may be watching us from. And my, my co-host is Jerry Chu. Hey, Jerry. How you doing, John? Good. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you. Jeez, it's just, it seemed like it was just last week. It was. It was, it was just last yeah. month. Actually, yeah. just last year. And we have a, a lot of new shows. In fact, we're going to jump a little ahead of ourselves. And, Jerry, I just wanted to tell our home audience, in case you want to put this in your social calendars, folks, we are going to have a program, this same program that you see, uh, with new guests now until June. And that's this series. Mm -hmm. And that will be after now, after tonight. It'll be the second Wednesday of every month. So it'll be eight to, seven. Be, it'll be eight, to eight to nine, Jerry. Eight, and it'll eight be, eight eight be eight to nine. It'll be uh, February 11th and March 11th. That's right. And Wednesday. And Wednesday. So it's the second Wednesday mm -hmm. of the month up until June. So put that on your social mm -hmm. calendar. We're going to take calls tonight. 617-708-3280. And uh, we got a lot of good reviews about our last show. That's so right. I guess whoever's watching now, we can, we can recap about what we did on our last show. What did we, what did we do, John? Who was, who was the guest on the last show? Well, we had Jim Sayer. In fact, okay. he's going to be on here tonight as and well. And he brought a, a friend. That, and that's right. You know, and he brought somebody with him tonight. Her name is um, Andrea Zangler. Andrea Zangler. Mm -hmm. and, uh, he's an actor. He's an actor. She's an, actor. an actress. And he was mm -hmm. telling us about the surrogates, and he was a stand-in for Bruce mm -hmm. Willis. And we had Gary Rickson on, and Gary was talking about art, esoteric art, and entertainment. We had a lot of good compliments mm -hmm. on that show, Jerry, and a lot of things are happening now in Boston. Now, it's been quiet over the last couple of mm -hmm. months, actually the last month or two. Um, Edge of Darkness, the Mel Gibson film, that's, right. that, that's finished, yeah. and now they're in post-production. Mm -hmm. And post-production, folks, means that all the shooting's been done after, in, the, film. after the film, yeah. and now they're yeah. editing it and that'll be released probably within a year or so. Mm -hmm. But um, Bride, Wars, Bride Wars was filmed here last what, year. What month? Uh, the, the film itself? Yeah, Bride Wars. Was, what month was that? Uh, that was, uh, I don't know, that was about eight months ago, mm -hmm. nine Who's months ago. Who's the star, the starring actor? I'm not quite sure. Is it Kate Hudson that's in that? Okay. Kate okay. Hudson okay. is in that? Anne Hathaway. Anne Hathaway is See? in that. She's and that's released. That was just, yeah. yeah. And the surrogates will probably be coming out maybe in the summer, perhaps, and then Edge of Darkness, maybe, mm -hmm. maybe at that point, too. Mm -hmm. but, but, folks, the, the thing is, and, and Jerry and I wanted to talk a little about this, is that the, the film industry, well, Jerry, the best way of saying it is this is the new Hollywood. Yeah, and a lot of, a lot of the uh, community has uh, questions about what's going on here. So what's the best way to find out more about what's going on? Watch the show. Watch the show. And we have people <laughs> on the program, and right. we, like we have tonight, mm -hmm. that, that are getting started, who have already mm -hmm. been involved with mm -hmm. many of the projects here That's in Boston. Right. And a lot of people can call in and ask questions and yeah. maybe give us some information that maybe we don't have. Just like that one call last time, uh, they were very interested in how to get the children involved. Mm -hmm. and that's like a whole new ball game. What right. parents need to do to get the children involved with auditions, right. get prepared, getting pictures taken. And there's, there's a lot of things that uh, this show can inform the public on what goes on right. with motion picture. Because the way I see it is, you know, if we all come together here and show what skills we have here and talents, we can very well be, you know, go to New England, New England to make a film. Well, look at, the, look at Plymouth, Massachusetts, and, and they're, they're getting Weymouth, Massachusetts, the new studios that are mm -hmm. being contemplated to be built there. Mm -hmm. And not only that, but we have an area that, that's very conducive to, to filmmaking. Uh, in Rhode Island also, Massachusetts, the terrain, the landscape, the topography, mm -hmm. all of these different various factors uh, are attractive to, to people making films. And that means that people are going to be looking for people to be in those films, Jerry. That's right. And That's the people right. here will have a good opportunity to take part in that. And we're getting people started right now, right here and there. That's right. And the person that we're going to talk to is Sandy, Sandy Hughes. Hughes. And you are getting started in the business. Is that correct, Sandy? Yes. Well, welcome to the program. Thank you. And Thank it's you a pleasure to have you. Me. It's a pleasure to have you with us tonight. Um, you want to be an actress, is that correct? Yes. And how do you go about doing, how did you go about doing something like that? Well, it's always been a dream of mine, and um, even though the economy's bad, I decided I'm going to quit my job, and I'm just going to wow. just put everything that's, that's into big. it. That's, that's I know. a big, that's a big, just like that. That's yep. a big Out decision. There. Yeah, I wasn't totally happy, and I said, you know, why delay it, you know, why put it that's off true. any longer? I, I wasn't ready for you to say that. Really? I, I, just, I did because I don't know anybody that did have done that unless they're doing something that they need to be involved all the time. Yeah. Usually when people are in the business, and you'll see this, Jerry, and you mm -hmm. know this, Jerry, and many of the people that we've had on the program, 
They do it sporadically. Mm -hmm. They do other things, and then when films come to Boston, they actually do it. But I guess if you're an actress or an actor mm -hmm. or involved in the business somehow, you travel to various places. Like we're we're close to New York mm -hmm. and Connecticut and Rhode Island. A mm -hmm. lot of things happening there, especially in New York. So I guess you can be involved in a lot of things all the time. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, New York is a big market. They, they, I, I see mm -hmm. um, a lot of auditions out that way. You know, commercials, print work, yeah. and so forth. But we we could talk about that some more. Um, so when what when did you decide that that you just wanted to just quit and just go into acting full time? About six weeks ago. That's not too long ago. Nope. <laughs> so you are really new. Yeah. <laughs> and and what was the uh, turning point you think that that made you say you know what? I'm just going to quit my eat, quit your job, quit my job and go for this. What, what was the um, turning point? I, I just wasn't totally happy and I thought, you know, let's, well, let's just see where this goes. What did you do for work? I was a medical receptionist in a hand surgery practice at Newton Wellesley Hospital. Full time actress. When, when did you do that? Um, that was right around Thanksgiving and I gave them two weeks. So. Now, you've been involved in the business before, though, haven't you? Yeah, Somewhat. a little bit here and there. Yeah. Tell us a little about that. Well, um, a few years ago, I was an extra in The Departed, mm -hmm. which was really cool. That's the Martin Scorsese film. Yep. And he just did another film, Ashcliff, which mm -hmm. was shot last year, Jerry, right here in Massachusetts, and probably will be released sometime this year. I would what imagine. film was that? Ashcliff. Oh, not familiar with that. Who's the star? Max Foncito was in it, and uh, several other uh, several other films. But Martin Scorsese directed it, mm -hmm. and it was shot right here in the North, South Shore, as a matter of fact. So, Mar what's his name? Mar Martin Scorsese. He's a director. He's a director, okay. and uh, a very prolific one. Uh, me, w did he do Taxi Driver? Yes. The TV show think, Taxi Driver. No, the uh, oh. film no. Taxi oh. Driver with Robert De Niro. I see. So he's done a lot. He's done a lot. To come here yeah. as a director oh, yeah. to do these films. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah. And he's coming. He's going to be coming back most likely. Mm -hmm. But you've done what? You've done plays. I did one play about ten years ago at MIT. That was it was a children's play, and I played the fairy godmother. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that was fun, and that was that was pretty much the first thing I did. So you quit your job. Yeah. Okay. So what happens next in your mind? Well, I knew about um, a talent agency called Boston Casting, okay. and um, mm -hmm. I decided to put a, what they call a talent profile um, I think that's online what we have with here. them. Okay. Mm -hmm. the, cast, the, the Boston Casting, the, the, the casting directors. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I, I, so I made a profile. I took a class with them called Breaking Into the, you know, the Business. And that was very helpful because they give you a lot of information that pertains just to Boston. Um, there's, you know, certain things you can read in the books about how to break into the business, but they had special insight as to what really goes on here. I, I think it's they, nothing better than getting it right from the horse's mouth. Right, or, exactly. If yeah. I said that way, because they're in the business and they're everybody the business. has. They're the ones that cast for the films. Yeah. Matter of fact, we're we're we've been talking. John's been talking back and forth with Miss, Miss Perry. To get her on here, and, they, and, and she's going to come on at some point. But yeah. the last couple of months, they've been so busy yep. with all of these films yeah. and everything. Yeah. She nice. hasn't been able nice to come to in, yeah. so we'll be able to talk to her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 and then to get some other people back. You know, it'd be great, John. As we said, we'd like to go out on location, maybe, and it'd be great if we could get on a location over there and do some filming and bring it back to the show. Big maybe. operation over mm -hmm. there in Austin. Because yeah. it's I a know, different it really world is. when when you uh, witness auditions and. You know what the casting director does, and you know how the right. talent prepares for it. You see the big long lines out the door. It's it's an interesting business, when, mm -hmm. when, and, and, a, and the community, you know, often doesn't get to see that what goes on. One of the things that's interesting here in Boston, I'm glad you brought that up, Jerry, because that that gives us an, uh, an idea of <clears throat> how many people actually do want to go into a be part of a film. Mm. It's interesting when a film is being cast here. Mm -hmm. Many of the principals are cast in L.A. or New York. Right. Those are the people yeah. that, that are actually the stars and the people that have speaking roles. Mm -hmm. but, but minor speaking roles are cast here as well, mm -hmm. as, long, as well as a lot of different actors, people you see on the street, in the restaurants, in the bar scenes, things like that. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people, both union, we're going to get to this in a little bit, mm -hmm. union, SAG, and non-union mm -hmm. people go for these positions. Right. And there's just thousands, sometimes thousands and thousands of people. And there can only be so many people chosen for this. Right. 
So what did you learn from your class from Boston Casting? What do you um, learn? Well, you learn, you know, the most important thing is to have a good headshot. Mm -hmm. And then they showed us how to build a resume if you don't have a lot of experience. Mm -hmm. So you want to put a lot of special skills mm -hmm. in there. Did you get your headshot uh, taken after the class or did you have one already? I had them done right before the class mm -hmm. and then I found some stuff out on, in the class that mm -hmm. they weren't exactly how they should be. I, ch I did black and white. Nowadays mm -hmm. they want to see color pictures. Mm -hmm. yeah. And things Black like and white that. Is a little, little dated. Um, that's interesting because a lot of people that want to get involved, oh, do I need hit shots? Do I need professional enough? You do need professional. You, you need something to, to represent mm -hmm. you well. How much do those head shots cost you? Well, actually, uh, my, my father in law. Okay, did so that. he's a professional yeah, he's, photographer. Mm -hmm. yeah. He's an artist. Hmm. Yeah. So. Different taking pictures though, with headshots. You got to know that person. That yeah. person's got to know how to Definitely. take. Yeah, and the picture can't be sort of like a portrait. It has to be yeah. like Show a natural because right. that's what they're looking for. Mm -hmm. your, your personality is supposed right. to come through in the picture. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think I'm going to have some done at Boston Casting. Mm -hmm. You can um, for fee, flea. Mm -hmm. They give you a makeup artist and mm -hmm. they take the photos and mm -hmm. did they say how much we know how much but I'm just we're trying to get the audience it's $400 yeah. that's about that average that includes the makeup mm -hmm. artist the makeup and artist I bet there are thousands of people watching us right now saying gee I always wanted to break into the entertainment yeah. business and I didn't know the first thing yeah I'd go down and stand in line they may mm -hmm. say I'll do that mm -hmm. but how do I really break into the business mm -hmm. Good how do I really do that yeah. and that's one of the first things you need to do yeah the headshot is the most important thing you can have as an actor great so Boston Casting you tried them who else did you try uh, so Boston Casting is a CD company casting directors and and they actually audition the talent for the film company film people and they help choose uh, actors and actresses for the film so who else did you try besides Boston Casting well, uh, to be honest, mm -hmm. I tried a real people modeling agency, which is mm -hmm. uh, corporations. They're not looking for model types. They're mm -hmm. looking More for just everyday people. Yeah. Are, yeah, they for print ads Are they in Boston? Are they in Boston? Yes. Mm -hmm. And they did accept me. That's I, good. <laughs> they good. Yeah. They, so, so they accepted you for print or what? No, for? they did not. Oh, they didn't. Me. I, yeah. yeah. So I that was kind of, of well, humbling. Well, <laughs> see, the whole the whole show is to be informed of John, right? Like we said. Well, you have Boston Casting. Mm -hmm. right? Another good one is, is CP Casting. Mm -hmm. Okay, and what's the third one? Oh, more more, more ties. So yeah. we suggest you, you stick to the. Well, that's Rhode Island. Rhode then it's LDI. Right. But mm -hmm. I think that's that would be a good start. Mm -hmm. And and I'm not sure, too sure who who mentioned that. Pe people in this business, mm -hmm. and I'm glad that she had mentioned the, mm -hmm. the modeling. People in the business, especially SAG people, SAG means Screen Actors Guild. People that are mm -hmm. actually in the union, and many people that are in the entertainment industry do many different things. They have many different talents. Aside from television and film, they do modeling, mm -hmm. both male and female. They do print. voiceovers, mm -hmm. voiceovers, print, yeah. print, all these different things. Commercials, they might do motion yeah. pictures, industrials, events, mm -hmm. even events, mm -hmm. anything to do with public, sort of like public relations, communications, mm -hmm. uh, entertainment, right? Things like that. Yeah. So, how are you making out so far? Well, I have to say I've been doing pretty well. Mm -hmm. um, I think so. Four weeks in the business and she's already on a television <laughs> show. I mean. Okay. To be honest, a lot of people wanted to be on the show. And I know you were working on some of the talent. And, right. and we actually got the show out and some of the groups out there. A lot of people emailed about the show. But for some reason, we chose her. Uh, no, we know why we chose her. Because we thought she had something to offer to the show. Offer for the, to, to the show. And it's about... Um, breaking into the breaking business. into the business, and that's what she's doing. She's, she's she quit her job. She's she's aspired to do this full time, and you know I we thought she would make a good asset to the show. It's a it's a, uh, a I think right now in time and space, mm -hmm. the whole realm of things. This is the best time to be in Boston for films. Mm -hmm. yeah. I agree. So, have you gone on any or auditions? Uh, I have. Or? Um, I went into one audition for a high school student film. She wants to get into film school. And I actually got cast, uh, the role as the mother. And, uh, and then I went to auditions at Harvard and Emerson. Mm -hmm. And that was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And we left that out, actually. The student films are important, too, Jillian, yeah. because we have yeah. Emerson. They're always doing it. They're yeah. always doing film. Mm -hmm. Students here, graduate students, are doing movies on their own. Mm -hmm for the thesis, for, right. their, for their program. And they're looking for talent. They're looking for people mm -hmm. to be in these films. So what they're doing is they put out on, uh, on, on, 
on special announcements on bulletin boards, people mm -hmm. that are involved with the industry saying, look, we need people, we need actors that will be able to hopefully be in our film. Mm -hmm. They don't necessarily pay you for it, but they give right. you a copy of it mm -hmm. and you can use that for your resume. But that's, right. that's, that's great for somebody that's just getting out there exactly. or, or even just wants more experience to, to right. work on these student films. Mm -hmm. And they're very professional about them. The, the Emerson is, is one of the colleges. Right. Is there another college? BU? Maybe? Harvard does. Harvard, one. Harvard, mm -hmm. Harvard has Boston. a program. I think too. I Boston, Boston University mm -hmm. also has one too. So you're, you're right. There are mm -hmm. a few colleges uh, out there that th do There's it. Uh, certain sites out there. I think New, the New England Film site, New England Film. Com. Yep. 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 has a lot of students um, advertising, students mm -hmm. advertise that they're making films and feature films, and they're, and they're great experience to be part of. And you never know the, where those resume. directors go. Yeah, yeah, yeah a young director right. one day and big time next. That's you know. right. Everybody okay, so somewhere. Yeah. yeah. So you're doing well. Yeah. Um, I'm being proactive too. I don't just have the profile. I go online. I go to three different websites every day. Mm -hmm. um, Craigslist, um, Mandy.com, and NewEnglandFilm.com. Mm -hmm. So that's how I've been finding out about all these auditions. Mm -hmm. And then through Boston Casting, I got a commercial, mm -hmm. so that was pretty fun. Oh, tell us about that. It's for Blue Cross of Pennsylvania, mm -hmm. and it's funny that I, in Boston they want you to put your education background, like say you're an EMT, and the movies might need an EMT. Yeah, that's and true. So they want to know, you know, yeah, if you have your real life form. experience yeah. is. So yeah. I'm certified in massage, mm -hmm. and they needed a massage therapist, so. Yeah, they contacted so it, me. And you got the job. And yes. what, what you auditioned for it and I actually didn't have to audition, so and that was pretty cool. You showed up at the job mm -hmm. and what what did they make you do? They had me massage a woman. Mm -hmm. At the beginning of the massage, she's supposed to look all sweaty and sick <laughs> and just horrible. And then at the end of the massage, you know, she's supposed to be enjoying it so much that she's like, oh. Where was this filmed? It was filmed in Lowell mm -hmm. at a hospital. Mm -hmm. Medical, mm -hmm. medical shoots are great. Mm -hmm. and, how, and how many hours? The reason why I'm saying because I want the, the viewers a, an idea of how long this actually takes. How, how many hours yeah, were they filming for? Let's see. Well, they started really early in the morning. They basically were there probably at least 12 hours. Oh, but see? I the didn't have to be there. The average shoot day is 12 hours in, in the film. It's yeah. 12 hours. You see, yeah. you were there for 12 hours. No, I wasn't there that, for 12 hours. I, I was only there for about, I don't know, five hours. Or but something. still, five hours is, is sure. Yeah. Yeah. Just it goes to show you how much you effort it takes to uh, <laughs> to make to make a commercial, mm -hmm. and now you have that on your resume. That's right. Yes, that's right. Yeah, and I did a music video too, actually. As for a local artist um, named Houston Bernard, and I mm -hmm. danced in the video, so I was a dancer. So see, we have you have a lot of different talents. Yeah, skills. That you can utilize yeah. the skills, and I think that's never, important. You never know when when someone calls and he wants you to use your skills. Mm -hmm. On it. So yeah. I see you have your cards in, in the way. Uh, uh, some of the uh, CDs here. Look at your profile. Is you sign it with Agency Pro, mm -hmm. and yeah. Agency Pro is actually a software program uh, online, and the actor or actress talent can register with them. And with the little service that they provide, um, you have your your own website. So that that's that seems to be working well for a lot of people here. Yeah. Agency Pro. Six one seven seven zero eight. 3280-617-708-3280 and give us a call. Ask us your questions, your concerns, your issues. We'd love to hear from you. And hey Jerry, where does the half um, hour how go? How much more time does she have on? We have a few more minutes. We have a few more minutes. We have a few more minutes and then we're going to break and then we're going to bring somebody else on. But, yeah. but what else is going on now? Well, you have something. Well, it's it's, it's downtime in the business here in Boston, right? Right, but I hear that there's several films coming on, here in yeah. the next few months. I'm assuming the spring and yeah. some. I've heard that too, like Jerry. That. Have you heard that? Yeah. There are a few, yeah, few big sure. films. Yeah. And there's, I, I think they filmed a pilot for um, Bunker Hill. called Bunk Bunker Hill. Yeah. So we'll see if that gets picked up. Yeah. Pretty sure that that's going to be shown in the summer. The summertime. I hear a phone ringing. It's one of our callers calling in and wanting to ask a question. It's not, it's not probably, one of friends calling. I, I, probably somebody wanting to know how to break in the business. Yeah, so let's see. This is an you do, you do, You're doing well. Six you know, weeks. it's not only for the actors, and of course it is actors and the people that work here in Boston, mm -hmm. but it's also an economic boom to this, mm -hmm. this city. Not only that, but it puts Boston on the map. Boston's on the map, of course, already. It's mm -hmm. a historic city. Mm -hmm. But so many people, by watching the film, yeah. That, has, that has the uh, authentic scenery of, of our city. Mm -hmm. Movies and film 
people want to come and see the city. It's a yeah. beautiful city. Yeah, and it's creating a lot of jobs for crew, crew men, you know, crew yeah. people. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the That's studio cool. in Plymouth is going to open some jobs up. It has mm -hmm. been already. I see them advertised for, you know, different crews. Not so much actors or actresses, but, you know. And that's, what do we say, about a year down the road? <sighs> I, I, I actually know some people who live out in Plymouth soon, very soon. Really? Very soon, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, uh, I'm um, actually near the uh, South uh, Weymouth Air Base too. Mm -hmm. They're thinking about doing that too. So, you know, that's a good. lot going on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. I was going to ask you something. Uh, it was at some point. So, you have family? No family? Yeah, I have a family. Okay, because yeah. that's that's interesting. Because yeah. now you're you're a full time actress. Now, how's it how's that working with family? Well, because um, the way I see it, you know, here next and around the world, the you know tomorrow. I, yeah, I would think it's, it can be happens. a challenge. Yeah, mm -hmm. everybody thinks I'm nuts, you know. <laughs> like, Some people think nothing, you we're think nuts doing this show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. How do you think you're going to become an actress, you know, with very little experience? My, my gut feeling tells me that you just have to go for it. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. you just have to go. You, you, you won't know, public, you won't know anything until you actually do it, and then, then you see the results. Yeah, that was my theory, is to make myself available for anything that comes up, because a lot of times things come up, you find mm -hmm. out about them like one day ahead of time. That's, which is, that's the, way, so, is the yeah, way it is. Typical of the business, it's typical, right. right. So I wanted to be available anytime, all the time, so I could just do any opportunity that came my way. That's right. It yeah. does happen that way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, kids? No kids? No kids. Okay, I was so, recently married in July. Okay, so not married... But, so how's you? You have a spouse now. You have yes. Okay. So how does that person help you? Me manage. Um. Well, they, they he's, understand. He's uh -huh. the sole source of income okay. right now, the breadwinner, and um, he's very supportive of me. Good. Mm -hmm. It is a little stressful, you know. I, I think in any any business, but it just goes to show, you know, if you have family, it can be done. You, I mean, mm -hmm. you know, don't let that uh um, not go after your your visions just because, you know, family, single, whatever. But. That's Would you ever relocate, you think? Because no. you're, you're married, so it's, it's, no. that's a tough Right. Well, he would never relocate. Neither would I, to be honest, because Boston is a small pond. And I'd rather yeah, be here mm -hmm. than out in L.A., totally anonymous, and mm -hmm. a, a full of, right. you know, in a city full of a billion people that want to break into acting. Yeah, that, in that's York, that's a question. You know, mm -hmm. I think it all depends on, you know, whatever works for for. The person, right? You Whatever know, if they can do it. Go out there, you know. If not, you know, stay here. Um, you yeah. know, a lot of a lot of talent, talent are by coastal now. They, they just fly, go back and forth. Mm -hmm. you know, they yeah. do that. Well, Cindy, I can't tell you what a pleasure it has been to uh, talk to you on the program. It's my pleasure. Jerry, any mm -hmm. follow up uh, questions? Yeah, or? it's a good conversation and um, very informative. So, for the audience, so. Some, so, some of your resources. Yeah. That, that yeah. you brought in. And I kind of like these books, John. <laughs> I love the, the dummies. The dummy series. books. I like, I like them because they're straightforward. Yeah, they're so and basic. The, the, not basic, just the, the lingo is easy to understand. Mm -hmm. so, what, what did you get out of this? Oh, geez. Um, mm -hmm. it, it basically explains how the entertainment industry works. You know, mm -hmm. the breakdown of who's in charge, you know, in these different projects. Who's and in charge? <laughs> who, who is in charge? The producers. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> we have your question, please. <laughs> we have your question. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. My name is Jimmy, and I have um, a question for the actress. Okay. I want to know what life um, lessons did she learn from um, first being an actress? I mean, first, um, um, shooting a video and... Um, doing all these things that helped her through her life. What, what, what experiences did she learn from that? That's what experience for, mm -hmm. that she learned doing the music video? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, oh, and the commercial. Could be plenty. Yeah. And commercial. Yeah, yeah, it's how hard how, how hard the business can be. Right. And how how yeah. what, what did you learn doing that music video shoot? What did you learn? Well, um, yeah, on any set, you yeah. know, be it movie, commercial, whatever, it's it's so interesting how you shoot for about thirty seconds, and then it takes them like two hours to set up the next shot. So there's a lot of waiting around, but you really get insight as to how everything works. That's true. Yeah, so, you know, and you get more comfortable being around the environment, you know, so. Once you're on a few of those shoots, that's pretty much the way they are. Mm -hmm. yeah. They asked you to dance in, in the music yeah, video? Yeah, I danced, yeah. Um, 
Did they show you the moves or, or you did your own thing? No, they kind of said, you know, we don't really, really want to choreograph it. We want everybody to just dance how the music moves you, right. you know, however you would normally dance to this type of music. So you learn just to imp improv. Right. Yeah. They kind of explained to us, the, you know, what styles they liked. And what style was that? Well, the they wanted day? more like hippie interpretive hippie. kind of style. What's that? Hippie interpretive? Free spirit type. Yeah. Can free, you show free us? Form. Oh, geez. They wanted the whole, you know, how you would see people in a Grateful Dead concert. You know. See, she's doing it for us now. That's, that's so. what he wanted. Well, we can't tell you how it what a great experience it was for us to have you on the program. Oh, and, thank uh, you so much. Jerry, I enjoyed, I enjoyed it. Yeah, it was a nice I think I learned a little bit tonight. Really? Okay, so yeah. nice for a home audience because we've been talking about it. And we've had actors on, of course, and they've talked mm -hmm. also. But somebody who's a novice, who's just breaking mm -hmm. in, it's interesting to hear from that perspective, too. A very special thanks to Sandy Hughes for being our first guest on the program. And we have two additional guests, Jerry and myself. And we have James Saya and Andrea Zangler two actors that came to visit us. Jim has been on our program before last year, as a matter of fact, last month, last year. Just keep that coming back. And uh, we invited them on again because uh, we got a lot of compliments on that show and we wanted to have a couple of actors on the program for the beginning of our year because we're going to be talking so much about acting during the season. And a very special welcome to all of you who have just joined us in the Boston area. 617-708-3280 is our phone number. We welcome your comments, your suggestions, your questions. Give us a call here, and we will be happy to hear from you. Hey, Jerry. That half an hour just went by. Didn't that go? Where does the time go on this program? I it's, I it's halfway through the program now. Mm -hmm. But we have two new actors. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the program. Happy New Year. Thank, Thank you, John. To you as well. And uh, best of luck in 2009. I feel it's going to be a positive year. I really do. Can I just say one thing? Sure. That lady, Sandy. Mm -hmm. Brave person. Anybody who wants to <coughs> their job in this economy, yeah. put themselves in yeah. I, 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 I was thinking, I know, I was thinking that too. All your eggs in one basket. I was thinking That's that too. It. I don't know anybody that has done that. No. I, I don't know, but I, I, I think it, it was brave. It's, it's right. a big challenge. And, and I hope that, that she does well. And I think that in this market, right. in Boston, with everything going on, I think that, that she has a good shot at it here. But it's, it's tough. It is. Because we're not getting a big film now for a few months, probably, but she's gotten she's involved in a lot of different things. So she's a go-getter. Mm -hmm. She's got a lot of things to look forward to, a lot of surprises. What's coming up with you? I'm, I just took a class the mm -hmm. other day, Sheila Jaffe at um, Internet Continental Hotel, and it was the first time I ever took a class. So it was very interesting. You learn a lot of things. You th everybody thinks they know everything anyway. And we, we were talking about yeah. that. Yeah. Who, who, what's her name again? Sheila Jaffrey. And she's a what? She's Sheila Jaffrey she, is a... She's... Um, casted, Los, casted Angeles. Los Angeles. From Los Angeles. Right? From Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Yeah. And she casted uh, talent for shows like... Sopranos, okay, Sopranos, Entourage, Entourage, yeah, and, and I know everybody's seen those shows, yes. Soprano, Entourage. So yeah. you were fortunate to have a, a session with her. Yes, yeah. yes, she was very good. I mean, yeah. like I said, it opens a whole new window when you see how yeah. they do it on that side of the, you know, cameras and stuff like that. How she hires people yeah. and what she's looking for when she hires these people. Mm -hmm. Very different. Gives you a little different yeah. perspective, right? I mean, you, we've been on sets before. Sure. And you think you know yeah. this is that everybody knows what they're looking for, trying mm -hmm. to do. But when you look at it differently, the way she looks at it and stuff, you have to learn a lot more than you're already capable of learning, I think. I thought I knew a lot, but not close now. Andrew, you've been in the business a while, haven't you? I have about um, 15 years now, going to my 16th year. And you're both SAG actors. SAG right. for our home audiences, Screen Actors Guild. It's the union mm -hmm. that oversees right. the actors. And a, uh, AFTER is American Federation of Television and Radio Artists. And those are for people who perform on television and radio. And the people who speak in motion pictures and who are in movies, most of those are SAG. Yes. SAG people. Screen Actors Guild. You have to join SAG to get those roles. Mm -hmm. And, and if you're given a role, a long time doing it. yeah, if you're given a role and you've never been SAG before, oh, you yeah. automatically become SAG when you speak in a SAG film. SAG eligible. Yeah. yeah. So what have you been doing? Um, I have been seeing a lot of movies, all of the... Um, the work that we did last year. Mm -hmm. I think uh, James and I worked in about six or seven films last year. The and Bachelor, well, it's not called The Bachelor. It's Bachelor my Two, with brother, Dane Cook. My good 
my girlfriend's best oh, friend best or something. Friends, best girlfriend. girlfriend's yeah. Right. Dana Cook and mm -hmm. Kate Hudson. Mm -hmm. Not to and be bride. confused with um, bride. Ghosts of Girlfriends Past. Okay. Right. Yeah. Bride, Wars of, bride Wars, of course, is right. just, has just been released. That's correct. Made twenty-one million dollars at the box office over the weekend. What's it, what movie? Bride Wars, and it's been sh it was shot right here in Boston. I did not see it, when and I was not in it either. But I know a lot of people it, when were. When did it premiere? About a uh, about a month ago, but it's been it was shot here in Boston, right. if I'm not mistaken. Kate Hudson and Anne Hathaway. Yeah, and the woman was shot the women, here. Yep, I was in the women. Um, that's out on DVD now, and I okay. think it's out on on demand. You can right. see that on on demand. Mm -hmm. And that's the show that no guys better. No yeah. men are in that. It was off. It was a f total female cast. Except for the very there. end. It was a baby, wasn't it? Yes. It was a little boy. Yes. He was in it. Um, Pink Panther Two. Pink Panther Two. Pink, yep. Pink Panther Two. Yes. Yeah, right. I'm in that also. Really? Yes. I got. I was waiting for that to come out. That. The, well. I don't think your mic's working. <laughs> oh, okay. Now everybody can hear me. For all those that want to know. <laughs> Thank you, Scott, Jimmy. Um, I hope. I hope Pink Panther. I haven't seen. It, on uh, film or anything coming out yet, but I think it should be coming out mm -hmm. soon. But I'm dying to see surrogates. Surrogates. That's I think we all are. Talk there. about science fiction, yes. a, a, mm -hmm. a real nice set. You, were you on the surrogates? Um, yes, yes. That was a huge budget, huge blockbuster Hollywood yeah. movie. I think it was about a $60 million budget. Oh, yes. a hundred, uh, over $100 million. Yeah. It was Not the like biggest. Biggest budget. Oh. <laughs> Joe, the set, over a billion. The set in Hope. Can you believe that, that guy, documentary guy? I think he makes a fun though. A couple million film, quarter of a billion. Hope a million, quarter billion. Hopedale. Yes. Hopedale was the location, and it was a, it was a uh, uh, deserted warehouse. warehouse that was transformed into a science fiction they tore locale. Half it down. Yeah. And stuff. Half it was still there, and they tore the other yeah. half down. They Just put for the film. Just yes. for the film. Oh yeah, it was beautiful. Right. I mean, it looked kind of. Spacey and stuff. That's what you wanted to see in surrogates because that's what the movie's about. But it was a good, good. I don't know how they found Hope Deal. How did they find these places? Somebody scouts. was scouting. Yeah, yeah, scouts. scouts come before. Location, scouts. Oh, yeah. 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 It's unbelievable how they can just find a place yeah. and it fits right in. Yeah. So, how many films in the last year? Oh, in the last year, I would say about six or seven. Yeah. You know, they went into oh, post production awesome. and then the films oh, take at least a year, at least, uh, or if not a year and a half, to um, finish and then they're. There's about five right. out now that we're seeing that Ed, I'm Edge in. of Darkness, too, right, Jerry? Oh, that are coming, or what she's done? No, The Edge of Darkness, the one that was with the yeah. Mel Gibson film yeah, this year. That, just that was stuff. the Mel Gibson, yeah. Robert yeah. De Niro. But film, yeah. I see 17 on your resume. That's a lot. That is a lot, yeah. For those that are just getting in, you know, there's a certain uh, way to do your uh, resume. You know, you have your film. Right? Yep, usually film yep. goes for, or your, your statistics go first. Okay, statistics, yep. yep. Information, contact Height. information. I don't want to go any other areas, but yeah, thank you, thank you, Jerry. <laughs> your personal <laughs> information in the film credits. Then you have your right. TV credits, exactly. Right, yes. and then you have commercials. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, and then you have your industrials. Good. That's yes. a different, you know, industrial commercials. Right. Theater, and then you have your um, schooling. Your school. Yes. Your theater. And theater. your skills. Yeah, your skills. So that's usually the format. You know, a lot of people don't know though, John. You know, they, these things. You know, you give a resume, it's like. Whoa. He's one paper, one yeah. page. There's a, lot, there's a lot to acting. It's not just yeah. movies. You know, when you're not doing a movie, right. you can, mm -hmm. you can um, do TV. There's two films in production in Boston now, mm -hmm. Bunker Hill and War of 04, um, that are pilots that hopefully will get picked up for Spike That'll TV. That'll be great. You can always do a, a play mm -hmm. in, in between when you're, you know, not in a movie set. I can't think of a, a better way of training than a play. Oh, I had been, I had been fortunate to be in a few myself. One which was off-Broadway, Jerry, as a matter of fact. Mm -hmm. And being in front of a live audience is so much different than, but I love being in film too. Right. And yeah, television, right. of course, I like mm -hmm. the most. But being on stage in front of a lot of people, it's a whole different thing. You can't thing. mess it's up. No, no. And yeah, if you do, you, like you have it. to get through it yeah, somehow. Yeah, you, yeah, you have to get through it somehow. Way. What kind of plays have you done? Um, I did a play um, by John Patrick Shanley, the writer of Doubt. Mm -hmm. um, Which is out now. The it's film out, is out now, yes. The film is out now. Where yeah. was that? Where was that? That was at um, Cape Cod Community College. Oh. Uh, theater program um, at the college in Barnstable. And it toured last year, too. It was at the Repertory Theater oh, in New York. Right? Yeah, it toured, oh. uh, Doubt toured, oh. but it wasn't, it was here for about a week. Oh. It didn't stay long, and then it went to Rhode Island. Oh, is that right? And uh, it was popular, fairly popular. And then mm -hmm. the film just came out about, a lot of films came out last year, a lot, yeah. in the last month. Jerry, uh, Christmas time and the end of May, Memorial Day weekend. Big time for films. Mm -hmm. Right, especially now because the Oscars are coming up in March, mm -hmm. so they want to keep them fresh in everyone's mind mm -hmm. so that the people can vote. There's a, a Massachusetts film site, Production, the production Guide. It, it's the only 
site that talks about what films are here. I think if you search it on Google, Massachusetts Film Production. Commission. Yeah, it's the only one department that actually lists the films that were, were filmed here. Right. Filming now and so forth. So for those that want to see, you know, what's being filmed or what was being filmed, they should just go to the website. Go to the website. Oh, really? I, that's, yeah. that's new for me, too. I didn't know that. Yeah. I think yeah. last year we had yeah. about 10 films last and year. And I think they need to check in with that department to actually get approval for the sites, too, to get the permits. Right. So it's, it's, if you just search Massachusetts, comma, movies made here, they'll probably bring it right there. Yeah. A lot of information. Yeah, yeah. good resource. Yeah. 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 We all have this um, tool that we have the Lonely Maiden coming up also, I believe, next month. With Christopher With, Walken. Yeah. That was yeah. shot uh, right around the Custom In House South Boston. Last, last a year ago this Christmas. <laughs> yeah. Right? And that's a, another movie I think that's going to be a big movie. Mm -hmm. Also, the box with the box, Cameron right. Diaz. Yes, that's coming out. Also, that'd be two good movies to see. Put them on your Christmas list again. Actually. So we had along with the proposal films. with Sandra the Bullock proposal, yeah. and Ryan Reynolds, mm -hmm. yeah. and Pink Panther Two, of course, with right. Jean right. Reno. And mm -hmm. um, I haven't heard anything about that even in the post -produ post production. Oh, that's coming out soon. Is soon it? to be released. Yes, Pink Panther Two, the proposal. We know, but do we know about the surrogates too soon? Too soon. Way too soon, yeah. yeah. Because of the type September of film October, also. Yeah. yeah. Maybe next Christmas. Maybe. You know, that's what Shadow Island, which was Ask Ask Lift, now they put it back to Shadow Island. That's, that'll be out next October in November. Oh, really? Yes. Really? Yeah. That's going to be a big blockbuster. That was filmed, that was filmed in Taunton. Hmm. And there was a World War II scene that was so realistic that uh, thousands of people were actually employed right here in Massachusetts to be in that particular scene. It was an invasion scene. But it was a, uh, apparently a w well done. It's going to be a film. Marty Scorsese is going to win another Oscar. Mm -hmm. he, this movie, he I already won it for The Departed, which we right. shot here too. Yeah, he's going to love making movies, more movies mm -hmm. back here. Stuff, because every time he makes a movie, it's a blockbuster. Mm -hmm. There's no doubt about this one. Now, what are we go what's going on now for, for 2009? What do we have coming here? Mark Wahlberg, the fighter. Mm -hmm. I read the other day in the paper it might start coming out in March. This is supposed to start last October, but because of the you know, Screen Actors Guild, it, just in case there's a strike, mm -hmm. they don't want to um, start filming and go into a strike. We don't know about that yet, though, That's do right. we? That's right. That's right. right. What That's is that it. movie about? That going to be? The fighter. Mickey Ward, yeah. Lowell fighter. Boxer? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jerry, all the lo so many people from, from Dorchester Boston, Dorchester, South Boston area. Wahlbergs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. The Goodmans. Uh, yep. Yeah. Ben Kevin Affleck. Kevin Chapman. Kevin Chapman. From Dorchester, I think, yeah. right? Yeah. They all made some pretty good picks in their lives. Mm -hmm. You know? Two things I would like to say that Chuck Slavin's got a party this Saturday night for the Sc Screen Actors Guild mm -hmm. and, um, you know, independent filmmakers mm -hmm. at um, the Blue 22 in Quincy. Mm -hmm. In this first one this year, but he had three of them last year. It is anybody who wants to get into acting mm -hmm. or act, you know, this lady Sandy should show up there. Who was uh, Chuck? Who, who was that? Chuck Slavin. What was he doing? He does acting. Oh, he's he's an actor. Yeah, okay. but he has this party and everybody attends and stuff like this, and it's a good thing to go because independent filmmakers are there. There's um, writers, Andrews, producers, producers, actors, writers, yeah. and everything else is oh, there. And if you want to get in the business, yeah, yeah, definitely, it's a good thing to attend to. Mm -hmm. If you have nothing to do this Saturday night, Blue 22 in Quincy. 8 o'clock. Thank you. What else is coming? What else is going on? Uh, let's see. Well, projected, I think there's like, you know, at least 10 films projected for 2009. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. um, like I said, we had 10 last year, and um, hopefully we'll double it in 2009. Do you think, you've been doing this for a while. Yeah, 15 years. Is this, is this the busiest you've seen? Absolutely. 2009, uh, 2008, excuse me, 2007 and 2009, I think, were the most productions that Massachusetts has had. And you've been in a fair amount of them, too. Um, pretty much every one except right. for um, Gone Baby Gone and a few of those. That was the Ben Affleck film. Exactly, yes. And that did yes. pretty well. I wasn't in that. Uh, what was the one with Denzel Washington that came out last summer? That was filmed at Harvard. Right. Right. Um, I can't think of it, but yeah, it was... Yeah, uh, pretty much every uh, film except for yeah. those two, and um, looking forward to more. The Game Plan, too. Yes, The Game Plan. The Game Plan, plan was filmed here Gillette with Foxborough, Stadium. right. That mm -hmm. was fun. It was a blast. Jerry, anything? Uh, no, I'm, I'm just wondering, you know, um, 
you have the Boston market, you have the New England market, you have considered maybe, have you done anything outside of the market that, that you got calls for? Well, Rhode just, Island, um, that's LDI right. casting. LDI. That's the Brotherhood is filmed out that way. Right, Brotherhood um, is um, done in production. That's pretty mm -hmm. much finished. And um, Underdog was shot there a few years Underdog. ago. Yeah. Right. You were yeah, I was involved in with that too. Yeah. And then New York's just like a three and a half hour train ride, so if you wanted mm. to just jump that's on right. the Excella. So have you ever tried the New York maybe circuit? I mean, oh, there's a lot of commercial. It's been commercial. out to LA. Uh, how was yeah, how, how it? How was it uh, for LA? New York and LA, totally different ballpark. Oh, I know. I mean, if Boston makes, uh, mm -hmm. if say, you know, 20 films a year, if, mm -hmm. you know, in a lucky yeah. year, then mm -hmm. LA makes 200 a that's year. That's right. So, so you see that they make more films, still making more films out that right. way. Right. You can work every day mm -hmm. in New York and LA. And how about Here, New York? New York, um, you could work every day in New York. Commercials. That's and, right. And that's filming, right. So. and, um, you know, Woody Allen loves to mm -hmm. film in New York, and. Um, Scorsese loves to Do you to still film. go out that way if there's um, opportunity? I haven't because I've taken a hiatus for a while, but I now see. I'm getting back into the oh, I see. And so if there was opportunity, you would actually go to L.A. and do, you, do, do a project? And I would, yeah. yeah. Well, I'm thinking of going sure. to New York. Us uh, local actors need agents to get the principal speaking roles. So um, we're thinking uh, of going down we to New York. We don't have agents in Boston. Oh, well, well, say you say um, you, uh, you want to work in New York, but you need the agents Well, we'd like to work here in Boston in our mm -hmm. own backyard, but we want better roles, the speaking roles. Correct. And the principal roles Prince are cast in, in New York. I think, New York I think and LA. Yeah, yeah, correct. As the work filters down. It, it, it's, but there uh, aren't any agents in Boston. No, for I don't some think reason. I think it's, um, really have yeah. We have a call. Can we have your question, please? Uh, yes, hi. I'd just like to know how you get uh, vouchers so I can join the union. <laughs> that's, oh, okay. That's a good, that's a good well, question. I well, can answer that. I could answer that, too. Okay. Work. Go ahead, Jerry. Just go out and find find the work, and then eventually, you know, you might get a job that that offers you the voucher, and just just work. Yeah. Well, you need three yeah. vouchers. You Correct. need three. Correct. I know in LA and New York, if you do so many hours of extra work, um, mm -hmm. you can get them that way. Um, but otherwise, you need to get on a set, right. and then a producer needs to give you a voucher, right. and, uh, and I, you and need I, to collect three, and then that's, mm -hmm. you're and then initiated, you're, and then you're you You're eligible for it, and then you have to join. Right. But I, just, just for the people that are watching, so we'll know what that, they'll understand what that question was all about. When that person was asking about, how do I get a voucher, what that means mm -hmm. is that if you are in a film as an extra, perhaps you've never been in anything before, but you decided to be in a movie mm -hmm. as an extra, and you work on that film. And then another film comes up and you want to work on that. Another film comes up and you want to work on that. Another film comes up and you want to work on that. Well, if you do an enormous amount of films, because you've worked so, so much, that you are at one point eligible to join SAG, which is the Screen Actors Guild. And at some point you do have to join if you've done so much work. Prior to that, if you want to hasten the process and become a SAG actor immediately, you have to get what's called a voucher. And the only way that I know of getting a voucher is like what, what Andrew had, and Jim had, and Jerry had said. You work, on a pro, you work on a film and then you make sure that they give you a voucher mm -hmm. so that that makes you eligible to be You're insane. also eligible after if you join after, after. for one year. You're, you're saying, automatically yeah. eligible. If you join right. after, which is the American Federation of Television and Radio Artists, you're, you're union for all practical purposes. Here in New England, you're union. And after a while, um, you will be automatically SAG eligible, right. and you will have mm -hmm. to you will actually have to join SAG. Mm -hmm. And the, it's a fair amount of money to join, but the the pay, of course, makes a big difference. And you cannot have a speaking role in a film unless you are SAG. If you uh, offer a speaking role in a film and you're not SAG, you automatically become SAG before you do that. Right. So. And also, if you go to the Screen Actors Guild site, website, and the mm -hmm. actor website, they explain it in detail, too, Okay. Yeah. Yep. about what you need to, to join SAG. and become. SAG.org. Yeah. SAG.org. www.sag.org. Mm -hmm. And, www and, and uh, I think AFTRA.com. A yes. A a after a -F -T -R -A. A -F -T -R -A. Right. AFTRA. 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 AFTRA and SAG is the same office, usually, know. In, in Boston. After SAG. Well, as you know, mm -hmm. because you've been involved with it yep. as well. Uh, so the main the department here is in Boston for after and SAG members. So. Park Plaza. Statler Building. What else yeah. is going on, Andrea? Oh, we're having a little bit of a lull right now, I would yeah. say. There's a I heard it's a, it's a downtime right now. It is. And I think it's, you know, the weather has to do with it as well, as long as I, and also the mm -hmm. um, pending SAG strike. I mean, you heard something mm -hmm. about actors going out on strike. That's sort of up in the air right no. now. I haven't really Hopefully, heard anything knock on about wood, what's won't, going on. 
Um, and a lot of it is weather permitting too, and I think because the weather is, you know, very cold, you know, I don't know how many productions want to shoot outside, yeah. but I think uh, once we get the film studios uh, in Weymouth and Plymouth, there'll be a different yeah. story. My feeling about the strike, uh, Jim, and I'm not sure if you feel this way or not, but my feeling, and Jerry and mm -hmm. Andrea, my feeling about the strike is that the writer's strike was kind of difficult yeah. for a lot of people. Oh, it yeah. was? For Explain. a long time. It we was a, because a people, writer people, a writer's strike a couple, a couple of years, years ago. ago. Oh. And a lot of people, and, and we saw this mostly with, on television because so many people write for I remember. Okay. the okay. monologues, for people yeah. like Leno and people like when that, that they could, not, they could okay. not continue to write because they were in the union. Mm -hmm. and, and they weren't writing, and as a result, a lot of shows weren't being filmed and a lot of people mm -hmm. weren't working. Well, that's like uh, tonight, the show 24. Mm -hmm. It's on last night and tonight, but mm -hmm. that was off the air for over a year because of the strike. Because of the writer's the strike. Writer's strike. Oh. And hopefully both sides learn from that because that costs right. billions of dollars and it both takes two right. at the table to figure right. this out. Actors have a, war, a union, mm -hmm. writers have a union, directors have a union, yep. everybody right. has a union. Mm -hmm. And the writers went out on strike a couple of years ago and a lot of that was because of internet. Um, they wanted to get the, the proceeds. Exactly. DVDs, DVDs, and all like that. that. And I, but I have not heard, quite frankly, what's going on here. I know there's a lot of things being said about what might happen, but I haven't heard anything definitive. And I, I just hope that everything is okay. Yeah, and I think there will be. I don't think they want to see the same mistakes they made mm -hmm. with the writers and stuff. Lost a lot of billions of dollars. Hell, they lost a loan. Yeah. Billions of dollars and stuff like that. So I think they'll handle everything and it'll come out right for us. Jerry, the, tonight's program, and all our programs have, have been pretty interesting, but uh, with, with Sandy coming on the first part, being a novice yeah, and being yeah, so it gets new. to show the viewers, you know, what it's like when you're starting out <laughs> and what you can grow into. So that, that was the idea. You know, you have two, two veterans here. You know, right. That, that, uh, uh, Been doing it for a while. For doing it for a while. And uh, for those that want to get involved, you know, that's the process. You, know, you go out there, you audition. You're going to feel nervous. You might, everybody feels nervous. You practice, you go on auditions, you go practice again, you go back on auditions, and you get the job. <laughs> It's show business. Yeah. Yeah. It's show business. And we're very happy that you're able to join us tonight. We have a, a couple of good programs coming up February 11th. We have a, another program. We have another program on March 11th and right through the second Wednesday of every month right up until June. And we're going to have people on, political people, talking about bringing work here into the city and people going out to L.A. and trying to incite some of the film people to come back here. We've got actors, actresses. We've got, uh, um, we've got a magician, actually, who's been doing it for a while, yeah, too. He's going to be... He, <laughs> magicians have their own unions. Did you know that, Jerry? We, everybody <laughs> yeah, has their I, own... I think it'd be great to, to, to you know, explain the, the, the nice uh, entertainment talent that we have in New England. You know? Right. Um, you wouldn't believe what, what people like to do. It's uh, what, what they... You know, they're what they're passionate about, you know, like Sandy, she just quit her job. <laughs> yeah, she's, like uh, that. she's yeah. brave, but that, of that's course, you know, that's that, the first step. That, I mean, that's it, the first step. Her, her um, willingness and her desire and her passion, it's, it's but 90% is just showing up. Have you ever done that before? Just quit in your day job? And oh yeah, every other week, yeah. But, but I think, I think <laughs> that if a person were in LA or New York, mm -hmm. I think they might be able to do that if they weren't if they That's if true. they didn't have to have a day job all the time. They they could probably do okay mm -hmm. because there's so much business in those Work. particular areas. Boston, we're seeing we, we seem to be getting it now, and it's mostly right. motion pictures, which is good. Yeah. you know we were hoping sure. for that. Yeah. But I don't know how if someone just says one day I quit my job. I don't know how. Well, if we could do this full time every day, five days a week on this set, I think we, you and I would too. We would do it too, and you know we want to thank all the people for BNN to come down and, and volunteer to do that's that right. because they do that. They volunteer. Yeah, the people at BNN, the crew that 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 helps mm -hmm. uh, put the program that you're watching in your homes right now. They come in. We can't tell tell you how much we appreciate the crew here at BNN that actually that actually does that. They they allow uh, that, that which allows us to to bring all of this information to you, so you can have it, and then you can uh, determine for yourself. So, hey, Jerry, what another great show, huh? I mean, taking a look around, I think everybody's passionate about Bomb being in the show between, you know, studio, camera help. I think that's we couldn't do it without them. I think it's the passion that makes someone decide, you know what, I'm going to quit my job tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs>
You'll have to come back and join us again. I know you have a day job, so we're going to keep it at night. Well, we're going to well, keep it at night. I'm not so do I will not quit my job. Yeah, so we're going to be doing this at night, right. folks, so There's we'll no be here at night. It won't be during the daytime. <laughs> For Jerry Chu, Andrea Zagla, Zangla, and uh, James Sayer, and Sandy Hughes. Thanks for joining us. Join us February 11th right here on BNN TV. Take care. Stay warm. <laughs>